You may have heard about the importance of networking if you're in business. And you may also have felt the weight that this word carries. Networking for many of us is a burden. It's hard. It's not something that we want to do joyfully and that we feel like we want to do lightly. We feel like it's work, like the name indicates, net work. So the work implies labors, implies labor, implies making an effort to have your business cards ready and a list of people you want to meet at that networking event and you have an agenda in mind. Have you ever felt like you went to this networking event and it feels so inauthentic? People are here looking for resources, like they see you as a potential target. I find networking quite violent and I could not name a different practice for it until, wait, let me tell you a quick story. 15 years ago, I moved to the United States and one of my first jobs was to work in retail. I was working as a sales associate in a store that would sell leatherwear goods, belts, purses, wallets, and so on. The team I was in was about 20 people. And I was assigned to uh, be at the front of the store for several weeks during the holiday season. And one of the first things that I noticed is the difference between my way of looking at the art of selling and my colleague's way. My colleagues were very direct. You could tell in their mind that they're trying to network. They're trying to work with the customer. And I was trying to engage and be curious first and have fun and really fun, yes, but still make money, but really get to know people first. I was observing what we were doing and noticing that we were here to create a human relationship first. I wanted to see if people were genuinely interested in the store, if I could potentially help them or not, or if I could recommend going somewhere else for a gift or a replacement that they were looking for. Until my results were really good and my district manager offered for me to run the store. And the first thing I did was to address that observation with my colleagues. And I told them, look, our clients are not walking wallets. Our clients are human beings first. So the first thing that we have to do is be careful that's how human relationship works. First, we care about each other. That's the basis of any healthy human, human relationship is care. Now, 15 years later or so, I finally came across the term that I was looking for to describe that mindset, that attitude, that intention in how we sell authentically. And that word is net caring instead of networking. Net caring is a term that my colleague, coach, and now friend, George Cow coined. He created the term net caring to indicate a different way to create relationships with colleagues, potential clients, friends in our industry, niche mates, as he names them. Net caring is about creating a balanced relationship. It's about authenticity. It's about benevolence as well finding ways to help each other first. The reason why I bring this theme to you in this video is because as you sell your services, I want you to lean into the idea of net caring. It's an essential mindset and an essential piece to practice the, the practice of, to practice the art, the practice of authentic selling. Reaching out to people with first the question of how can I care about you? What is happening in your life? How can I be of service? How can I be supporting what you do? Genuinely, without expecting any outcome. Maybe the odds are such that you will need my services. You will need my professional help. But if that's not the case, it's okay. I can probably still help you by connecting you with some of, some of my relationships, helping you with an idea, a little bit of time, as I mentioned in one of my previous articles, it's about consoling first, listening a lot, and maybe giving hope. Net caring is this essential mindset. It requires detachment because you don't know what's going to happen. If you net care well, you should be in a mindset of abundance. 
You're feeling the energy. You're feeling that you could be there for others with uh, or without requiring anything in return. But believing that what will come back may come back from someone else, somebody else. This is how you show up as an expert. Experts are not there to convince or twist anybody's arm. We're not here to net work. We're here to net care. To first of all, care about each other as human being and as, as, yeah, as creators of attention, of life, of joy, of love. If you approach this, it will, if you approach sales this way, it will completely transform the way you think and look about selling. It should bring joy to the art of selling. It should bring joy back to what it's supposed to be, which is a noble art of positioning your product or service in the hands and the minds and the hearts of your ideal clients, of the right people. Really authentic selling is about a fit. It's about matching what you do, what you provide with the people that are eager to get it, that are already willing, looking for it, excited about it. It's not about having to work really hard. It should be something fairly light. It's about maybe announcing on your email list a new offer, letting people know about what you do, and be, being excited to reach out and say, hey, I exist. I exist. I'm here. You don't know me, but I'm here. I exist. This is what I do. I am Guillaume Viatre. I help you grow your firm, making more, making it more willful, more impactful, making, uh, helping you build a mighty firm. <laughs> I had this idea today that what I do is uh, I help people build a mighty business a stronger business from the inside, not just from the outside. And I'm available in case you have any needs. What are you up to today? What is going on? What is happening? All right, yeah. You're creating this new approach, this new invention. Have you thought about this? Have you considered this framework, this metaphor, maybe working on this different way with different people? The sky is the limit. You see how net caring also brings in a layer of creativity in the relationship. It's about opening the relationship to possibilities, creating an opportunity in collaboration, in tandem with somebody else. Not about forcefully pushing something, pushing a product or a service towards somebody. You know, there's an, this expression I really don't like because it feels so painful. It's pushing a service, the service down somebody's throat. Right. I don't like that. I bring this idea to you because I see so many of us not liking sales. I've never been as excited as when I sell. It was not the case before coming to the United States because I believed and I was really influenced by people who thought that I have to really work forcefully with strength in a very violent way. Violence in sales is not something that I recommend, something that I hate. Well, something that I stay away from and something that I will gently and carefully fight against. My belief around sales is that it's the most essential basic human relationship building thing you can do if you approach it from the standpoint of caring about somebody else. Who will reject you? Who will downplay? Who will overlook what you have to offer if you come to them with the idea that you want to care about them, you want to help, right? Maybe they don't have a budget. Maybe they don't have the time. Maybe they're busy. Maybe they're preoccupied. Maybe they don't believe what you believe. But at least if you try to care for somebody else, there is no harm. There is nothing wrong. You have nothing to lose. You have nothing to be uh, responsible or guilty of, I would say rather. As I close here on this quick video, Think about net caring. Think about the resonance of the word caring for somebody else. 
think about the possibilities it could open to you and let me know how it goes for you. As you reach out to people on a daily basis and offer your support from a heart-based standpoint, open your mind to the possibilities of an approach to selling that feels a lot more human than somebody or, or other people have told you about. Make it a human interaction, make it a human element, not just a mechanical, forceful way to get to something at all cost without caring for the damage that your technique, your sales strategies will uh, create. I hope this helps. And as always, I look forward to hearing your questions and reading your comments. Thank you.